Oh. Hey, everybody. How is your full moon? Ooh, awful bright, isn't it? Don't know. I need a technician, somebody to help me do all this. So how's everybody's full moon going so far? I haven't done my stuff yet. I'm about to go take my cleansing bath and get with it. Hey, Carla. How are you? Uh, you doing okay? Oh. Yeah, I've got a few things I'm going to do uh, for my full moon tonight, so. I'm pretty good. I'm getting really tired of being in the house all the time. Dang it. But what are you going to do, you know? Um. And, of course, the field I'm in isn't, you know, the greatest field to be in at this when these kind of things are going on <laughs> in nursing. Hey, Callie. How are you doing, sweetie? Yeah, I thought I'd hop on here and talk to everybody, maybe before everyone got to do in there. Whatever they have planned or not. Um, I will talk about right quick. I got an I got an email. Well, I got several, but one I'm going to address right now. Um, okay. I always try to put things to where they don't sound so blunt or harsh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Witchcraft. That's what it is. It's a craft. Everybody knows that. That's what we do. Most of us, that's what we live by. We are witches. Um, but this does not mean that you don't do anything for yourself. You know what I mean? I mean, yes, the, the gods and goddesses will help you. Um, but you, you have got to put forth the effort. Um, in other words, don't expect to just sit on your butt and do absolutely nothing and have be able to pay your bills, you know, no matter how many spells you do or, you know, they, they, they'll only help you for so long. And if there's good reason, you, you've got to. Stand on your own two feet. You're not a strong person. You're not even a strong witch if you cannot do that. Um, and, of course, this is discluding people with uh, disabilities or whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, and in times of dire need, no, there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing a money spell. But come on, guys. You are not going to sit there and do a money spell every day. <laughs> Unfortunately, they just don't happen that way. Um, if that was the case, I mean, wow, you know, we'd all have it made, wouldn't we? Um, and then this this person, I'm not going to mention any names, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be hateful towards them. The one that sent me this email, that is not at all what I'm getting at. Um, they're like ready to to leave the path because they didn't get what they wanted. Okay, well, first of all, if if you get on this path <coughs> specifically because you think that every time you do a spell, it's going to work and you're going to become rich and you're going to have the best clothes and you're going to have the best man with the best relationship and, you know, you're setting yourself up for a major long fall. 
That is not at all what this path is about. And there's times that, that this path is extremely hard. It tests you. It tests your willpower. It tests your strength. In order to be a good witch, to witch good, as I like to say, to, to be able to, to get your, your spells out there, that takes a lot of energy. A person with all this black, bad energy around them and inside of them and, and that are lazy, you know, that just want everything handed to them, that, that type of person is not going to be able to put out a good spell. I don't care who you are. Plus, it's just not meant that everybody's life is perfect. I mean, you would never learn anything if life was perfect. If your world was perfect. I mean, honestly, what would be the purpose of striving to get a better job? What would be the purpose of uh, getting a bigger and better house? You know, anything. That, that that makes your quality of life better as you see it. And why people think when they get on this path that it's just, you know, well, it's something they read of a damn fairy tale because it doesn't happen that way. <laughs> I mean, the, the, you know, it is such a self, a self journey. I don't, I don't know how else to put it. Um, you will get what you need. I can almost guarantee you that. Maybe not everything you want. If you want something, you know, to, to you think about it, to our gods and goddesses, that dollar don't mean a thing. You know, you can go put thousands of dollars on their altar, but that's not going to buy you nothing with them. They're just going to go, well, what are we supposed to do with that? You know, that is not what they're wanting from you. That is not what they are expecting us to learn while we're on this plane. So those of you that are in and, you know, trying to get into witchcraft because, you know, it's, it's all about what you can get. Well, to me, it kind of is um, because it's about your own peace of mind. It's about being in having some sort of control over your, your own life and your surroundings. It's about the big time overall life experience, not just being born, going through life, you know, buying your first car, your first house, having kids and poof, that's it. You end up at a nursing home. There's so much more in between and on this path, you know that. You learn that. Wish I had a magical mom to teach me. And you're out when you do spells, you have to put the physical effort into you. Your job spell is putting in applications. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, these gods and goddesses will assist you. I have, you know, there is no issue with that. Hi, Lady Blonde Wolf. Um, you know, they will assist you, but they expect you to do the work. You know, I mean, they're not just going to be handing you everything left and right. That teaches you nothing. I mean, just like most of us are parents, you know. And as much as we might, well, now some people do this, but I don't, never have. Um, us as parents. When, when when you're raising your children, you know you don't you don't just automatically go buy them everything. You teach them the value of things. You uh, teach them how to get a job, how to work for what they get. Um, even if you had the money to give them, you see what I'm saying? You're teaching them the value. You're instilling the values in them that they're going to need as adults. I feel that's the same way our gods and goddesses do us. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to help you, but I'm not doing it all. You're going to, you're going to put in the effort, the work, you know, I'll, I'll guide you, but you're going to do the work. 
Can you guys please hit the like button? Oh, <laughs> my email will. But yeah, uh, don't 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 expect. Uh, like I said, as old a witch as I am, I honestly can tell you that there's been spells that I have done that did not work, and I still to this day don't know why they weren't. They just weren't supposed to, I guess. You know, I don't worry about it. I don't go, oh, I'm a bad witch. You know, because I guarantee you. And this is to any witch out there. If they want to sit here and tell me that every single spell that they have done has come to fruition, I will call them a liar. Because I guarantee you, it doesn't happen that way. Now, most of them, yes, they 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 go along just fine. But there's those every once in a while. Um, and there's reasons. We don't even know what they are and probably never will know. But um, sometimes they just don't work. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you did anything wrong during that spell. It just means they weren't supposed to happen. There's something else blocking them that you may not see in your own self, but the goddess sees. So she's like, no, I'm not going to give you this right now because I have something better waiting further down the line. And if I give that to you now, then you'll miss out on this. You see what I'm saying? Okay, see, here's another metaphor. Like, say, at Christmas time, around Christmas, say you're going shopping and sometimes you take your children just to see what they might like, you know, or somebody that you're going to buy for. You may say, uh, uh, I'm going to, uh, oh, isn't that cute? And you, you listen to what they ask for, you know, or if they look at something and go, oh, wow, that's nice. Or even throughout the whole year, you know, you may hear your child say, oh, man, I'd love to have that. What is your first thought? OK, at Christmas time, I'm going to get that for them. That's a good Christmas present. OK, the whole rest of the year, that's all that kid talks about. Let's just say a bike. They wanted a bike. Mom, Dad, really, you don't have that bike. OK, you know. In your mind, all along, that that, ch that child is going to get that bike for Christmas. <laughs> so, no, you're not going to go buy them a bike right now. But that kid won't shut up about it. Because he, they don't know that that's what's happening. They think you're just ignoring them. <laughs> I think our goddesses do that the same, do us the same way. It's like, no, you're not going to get this right now. Because I have something better planned and, you know, waiting for you, and that would interfere with it. So you see what I'm saying? Sometimes spells don't work for a reason. Strongest witch I know has told me that sometimes she has to do a spell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if it still don't work, there's, there's definitely a reason. We don't do spells every day either. It's draining and practicing spells are great as long as you're locking your doors at night. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how. Uh, I mean, to each their own. But, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty old witch. I've been doing this for a very long time. And um, even doing two spells or two castings a night put me to where I want to sleep for the next two or three days. Honestly. So I don't know how these witches that, that have these YouTube channels that you can send them in, you know, email them um, a spell that you want done, pay them money, and then they do, you know, you, you listen to one of their lives and they've got seven or eight spells going. I mean, whatever, but I can't do it. I just, I, that would take all my energy and I, I wouldn't even have any left. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't know. And I guess it depends on what they are. Y'all know as well as I do that um, some of these spells take more intention, more energy, more of a thought process than others, you know. 
So, and I don't do, I don't do spells every night. I'm honestly lucky if I get in there nowadays and do one a week. And usually anymore, it's not even a spell. It's, um, <coughs> it's more like a, I don't know. I guess you could say, call it a rot. I go in there. I thank my goddess. I give her stuff and I just talk to her. You know, a lot of times I go in there, I don't ask for anything. I tell her, thank you. You know, I mean, and ask her, you know, if there's anything that I could possibly do for her, which I can't even fathom what that might be. But I don't know. Everybody practices, you know, their own way. And I don't have anything against, and I'm not saying anything against the witches that do spells for money. I just don't, I don't, I don't see how it's feasible for, you know, them to do seven, eight, nine spells. And seriously, only about maybe five hours. But whatever, you know, that, that's not my problem. I'm not the one paying them. <laughs> so, anyway. And uh, tonight, you know, like I was saying, you know, a lot of times I don't ask for anything when I go in front of my goddess. But um, to not be in the full moon, um, and not just tonight, you can do this at any time, but our world is in such turmoil right now. Um, what we need to do is forget about ourselves for a little bit, you know. Um, we really need to do our jobs as witches. This is what it's about. This is what being on this path is about. Our world is in trouble. Um, this is our job. Our main job. Our job is not to go in front of the goddess and say, okay, you know, I need this much money and oh, I want to buy that that incense and I want to do this and I want to do that. I, 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 me, me, me. It's about being caretakers of this earth and the things that inhabit it, including human beings. Oh, thank you, Callie. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. But, you know, and, and I'm not saying, you know, it's wrong to do a spell for yourself. It, it isn't. A lot of times I'll go in there and do a spell and ask them to make sure I retain my sanity. <laughs> Just being on this path. Because I'm telling you, if you go full throttle in it. And you do the way our ancestors intended us to be on this path. It is at times very term tur it's full of turmoil it's just you don't know which way to go and and, and um, um you you may turn to another witch for advice and that doesn't hit you right or set with you right or you know and what it boils down to in the long run is you have to make your own decision what 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 you feel will do the trick that's like you know, you can borrow somebody's spell. Um, I had a lady the other day ask me um, if, if she could borrow a spell. I said, like, borrow it. Well, it's not borrowing it to me. You can use it. Use it whenever you feel you need it. But the whole, the whole point of that is that spell, when that witch writes that spell, it becomes her words. It's, it's her voice, her thought process. And you may not be able to push that out there and to the ethers like that witch did, or how how she what she was thinking to produce that spell um, at the time. So instead of, and I'm not saying don't go borrow a spell. I've loaned my spells out um, or given my spells out, but I always recommend reading that spell and and putting your own stuff in there like replacing 
a word or two that I might say for something you would say in, in your own way, making it your own spell. You, do you see what I'm saying? You're, you're not going by exactly what I said. You're putting in the effort into that spell, which in turn makes it your spell, which makes it easier for you to cast. I don't know if that made any sense. <laughs> I need a sanity spell daily. <laughs> Me too, Carla. I'm telling you, girl. Here lately. Mm -mm. These are times you just want to get up and go somewhere. Where are you going to go? The world's sick. Where are you going to go? Then there's no money. Where are you going to go? This is when the witches... Turn to the forest, which I'm not fortunate enough to live around any. I would love to, but, you know, go out walking, go drive out in the country and just walk. I don't know. There's all kinds of ways, no matter where you live, to get next to nature. Yeah. These days, I'm afraid, Carla. What are you afraid of, um, Kelly? What are you afraid of? Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, me too, Carla. And, and you know, being a witch, we are, we are so much more sensitive and in tune with the earth. So when she hurts, we hurt. And um, I strongly urge all the witches, all the true witches, um, you, you right now you've got to have your protections up <clears throat> and, and I'm not talking about just towards the virus I'm talking about the bad energies the depression the um, um, all the things that, that block us from being who we are that contain us um, because now more than ever we have got to keep our heads on straight. As I said, this our, now we are being called. I don't know if I'm the only one that hears it, but we are being called. Um, and it's time to go to work. I have a feeling it's going to be around for a while. What can't we talk about, Callie? I can, talk, I can talk about anything I want. It's a free country. And I have certain things on my channel that uh, certain people shouldn't be watching. But yeah, even in the medical field, they're telling us, you know, it, it may, it, it seems like it's going to be one of these things that come and go. About the time you think it's gone, it's going to rear its ugly head again. But, you know, you don't know. You can you can only go by what the scientists and the doctors say. And, um, you know, these people that are out there studying this virus um, all the time, feeling, you know, fingering out how much or figuring out um, how it mutates and or if it mutates. Yes, we do, Kelly. Um this is when you need to go to your altars. You need to make that altar your second home for sure. Or wherever. I don't care where you sit, where you say your stuff. Do it. Um, you know, I noticed that because I said something about it. 
um, when when it first came out, when we were first hearing about it, and um, I said something, and I'm in the medical field. I should have the right to talk about it if I if I want to. But they flagged me. I mean, I don't know. Um, that's that's what I wrote them back to. I said, well, whatever happened to freedom of speech? <laughs> This is an open platform. I should be able to say anything I want. Anybody don't believe what I say can just not watch me or whatever. Exactly, Carla. And, you know, every day there's still nurses out there putting their, literally putting their lives on the line with this virus right now. We should damn sure be able to talk about it if we want to. And I mean, I wouldn't get on here and act like I know everything about it, you know. I mean, I don't. I'm not a doctor. But, you know, I can only tell you what we're taught. And we're taught by some pretty damn smart people. So, whatever, you know. They say, well, we don't want you scaring people. Well, maybe people do need to be scared. <laughs> it might save their lives. You know, be scared. You should be. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to get on there. I won't get on the subject. <laughs> Dang it. It's hard. It's hard. I mean, I'll just go. I'll, that's why I just tell the witches, you know, we, we've got to uh, we've got to get to work. And anymore, you know, it, it's really hard to together, um, especially during, you know, this virus going on. Um, but a, a lot of us are on, on virtual. You know, shoot, I talk to people in Greece that are witches all over the world. Um, you can do some that way. Um, I wish that I, I could have um, thought about having some kind of get together, you know, virtual get together. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's funny, Carla, because usually I uh, and thank you for deterring me, by the way, you already seen where I was going. <laughs> Uh, that's my sister. Anyway, yes. Um, the uh, Usually I get, I feel really wore out during a full moon. It seems to, to just drain me. But tonight, I, it's almost a, a peaceful feeling. I, I have this feeling that everything's going to be okay. And I don't know why. I honestly feel a, a sense of peace hey baby firefly the taxidermy witch that's a good time to recharge your book of shadows yeah i'll charge anything your crystals your uh, anything You getting the same thing, Carla? You're getting that vibe. Awesome. I believe, honestly, with this moon, anything's possible. So probably about, oh, I don't know, probably midnight. I will go in there and start my spell. Yeah, I've, I've got so much water, though. I mean, on that last super moon, I made three huge gallon jars of that. 
I've got plenty of moon water for a while. But I guess what I'm asking is, is during this full moon, my witches, the ones of you that, that follow me or that don't and just happen to run across me in time, please do something for our earth this full moon. You know, um, if, if you have something else that's detrimental that you really need and want to do, remember there's three days. There's three days to these moons. Could have done one last night, you got tonight, and then you got tomorrow night. So surely, out of those three days, you can cast for our earth. Because without her, we, we are not possible. And we fail as her guardians when we don't help her. I put my crystals out tonight. It's raining here, and I have no one to shoes. Oh, bummer. Well, that sucks. Once I added my menstrual blood to the earth, this is a great offering this year. It's an 18 size. Oh, that's, yeah, baby firefly. That's an awesome idea. Yeah. Of course, you've got us witches that no longer do that. <laughs> we don't have that issue anymore, so. We have to do other things. But yes, the ones that are still able to, that's an, that's an awesome idea. I've known of uh, other witches doing that. And that, and that would be a beautiful ritual to do. I see, see how fast things flash before my eyes. I just seen a beautiful ritual. With that happening, baby firefly. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I got to turn my oven off. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going to. It's going to bake a cake here after a while, but I don't know if I'll do it or not. But yeah, um, whatever your other, whatever your plans are for this full moon, please, please include Mother Earth in it and the animals and, and you know, our, just our world as a whole. Um, as I said, now, now the, the world needs her daughters more than anything and we are her daughters. So, um, do your job, which is, <laughs> that's a, what I'm a saying, but, and it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, you know, um, it's so cute, really, and, and it, it reminds me of when I was a young witch, um, you want, you want everything to be so perfect, your altar has to be perfect, your, um, uh, every crystal you have to have every crystal and every color of candle and um, you know what I'm saying and and they're they're so nervous they're they're afraid that they're gonna offend the gods you know or the goddesses because they don't have this or that because <sighs> I was the same way I know and I'm still bad about wanting everything. <laughs> I mean, I just want everything that's witchy. So it's like uh, you don't have to be that perfect. We are not expected to be that perfect. It comes from your soul. It comes from your heart. You could you could stand out in the middle of nowhere in your backyard with your arms held out and holler at the top of your lungs looking at the moon and talk to her. And I guarantee you right then and there, something will come in your head and you'll be casting a spell and you don't even know it. That's the power of being a witch. That is the power of knowing to know, to dare, to will, 
to keep silent. Carla, <laughs> I'm trying to do my job. <laughs> I'm not going to be around forever, so I'm trying to teach everybody else. I enjoy just getting on here and being around people that are like me. I love that. I don't feel so alone. Where I'm at, it's cloudy. You can't see the moon, but I can feel it right. Yep. And you can still charge things. And I mean, the energy is still there. Yes, Carla, it does. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm not the best teacher. I literally am not a good teacher. I just get on here and tell y'all how I do things. and They work, so. Whatever. I'm not perfect, by no means. Um, never will be. But. Yeah, I do too, Callie. Just by being mean, yeah. And as I've always said, you know, some witches may tell you different, and that's fine. You know, that's their way of doing things, and eventually the newer ones will eventually find their own way too, their own path. There are not necessarily their own path, but their own way that they follow. The only the the, the way that they do things that work for them, and that's the way it's supposed to be. You know. I mean, I can I can put people on the path, but, you know, I'm not going to be the one walking there beside them the whole time. So sometimes I'll have to walk alone. So what are you going to do? You know, I mean. Thank you, Callie. Y'all are sweet. Got my dragon's blood candle I make. Better not show my. That's my signia. Not that y'all steal it, but somebody might. Well, it don't matter. It's patented. So the candles I make. But yeah, I don't. This is one thing I'm trying to work on, you guys. I am too much of a perfectionist. Yeah, Carl, I do. I do sell them. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't have them like on Amazon or Etsy or anything like that because, well, I'm not big enough, I don't guess. And then you have to, and I'm, and honestly, I'm not tech savvy. Does that make sense? I mean, I know how to get on here and I know my way around the computer, blah, blah, blah. But as far as doing like getting a PayPal account and having people put money there to pay for stuff and then me sending it to them. I don't know how to do all that. And see, Callie. That right there, that is so sweet. And then I feel bad. I mean, to the witches that I talk to all the time, I feel like I ought to just send y'all one for nothing. <laughs> and that's how I'd go broke. Because I would. I'd just be sending them out and giving them away. I'm bad about doing stuff like that. But then, I don't have the money to buy more wax and, you know, all the stuff, my wicks and Stuff that I need to make more. So, <laughs> Carla. <laughs> well, figure it out. <laughs> oh, we would have so much fun together, me and you. Yes, we would. 
<laughs> I could just hear you saying that. Well, figure it out. <laughs> oh, no. And I mean, I'm no professional. I'm just an old witch and just started making them one day. And then I had a friend say, well, why don't you sell them? So I started making more and I started selling them and <laughs> it just went from there. Yeah, come on. I know I probably asked you this a thousand times, but where did you say you live? What state? Because I honestly can't remember. I know you've told me. I know you've told me. But I can't remember. I don't remember nothing anymore. Oh. That's right. You know, I have never been there. Never been to New York. Now, my boyfriend's from New York. Yeah. There's a spell for me. We lost Callie. <laughs> oh, us witches. We're something else, ain't we? Yeah, I, hear, I heard about that, Carla. I don't know. That seems to be everywhere, though. Well, I mean, I'm in Oklahoma and there's state tax and all kinds of taxes I'd never heard of until I moved here. But, of course, I came from Texas. And in Texas, there's no state tax. <laughs> I guess the taxidermy witch left us. I was going to ask her a question. She got off here before I could ask it. you want me to find you on if you can remember <laughs> oh, I love it when you're on here Carla I laugh so much if you can find if you can remember it <laughs> I can see me out there I, my favorite time of year is spring when you know there's thunderstorms I'm a I'm a storm witch and the tornadoes are flying around and, and I'll be out there literally standing in the middle of a lightning storm. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure my neighbors look at me like, whoa, that's one crazy chick that lives next door over here. Don't talk to her. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> oh. Had some funny shit. <laughs> yeah. Just, well, it's not necessarily me, but I'm around there somewhere. In fact, I'll, I'll give y'all a little bit. My name, you know, Lady Adora. That's actually pronounced a little bit differently in Greek. And in Greek, Adara means tempest or storm. And Hecate named me that, by the way. I was just sitting here one day and I heard, literally heard a boy say, Adara, Adara. Or <laughs> Yep. The role you hear is me coming on my broom. Now that's that's Hecate coming. Yes. I love that totally you. Yeah. <laughs> and I know it's really weird because just out of nowhere I heard that and it's like I had never heard it. 
I thought Adara. Where in the world did that come from? So, of course, me, I go online, start looking it up, and um, it had all these meanings in Greek. Yeah, it means tempest or storm, tornado. Tempest is, a, you know, pretty much a tornado in certain lingo. So... And I figured I put the lady in there just simply because I'm an older witch and I figured that's what I should do. I don't know. Maybe I should have just said Adara. <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm really not that much of a lady. I'm an old cowgirl. Love that part. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she did, Carla. Well, and I'll tell you a funny story about that. Well, it's funny now. It wasn't back then. When I was probably in the fourth grade, I can't remember now. I, I might have been in the fifth grade, but I think it was the fourth grade. Um, I was at school, and I lived way down in the South Plains of Texas, west of Lubbock. And... um. I was uh, the flag girl that week. So I had to, uh, you know, uh, before the last bell of school let out, I have to go, had to go take down the flag um, in front of the school. And um, I, I get there. And, and it, it was so weird about this is this tornado happened before Halloween. Right around Halloween. You know how it gets cold and, and windy and rainy, you know, or right around Halloween most of the time. Um, this it, it was this time of year. So who in, who in the world thought there would be a tornado flying around? Well, I knew the wind was bad. And when I, had, I remember I had a hell of a time getting that flag to come down because the wind kept whipping it around the pole. So... I finally get it down, get it folded up, and um, I uh, took it to the principal's office, go back outside, and where our buses parked, there was these little poles, say this is the ground, these poles were about like this off the ground, all along that whole row where the buses stopped and parked. So, um, they, uh, I looked to my right, which was more towards the west, and I seen this huge cloud coming. Well, we had dust storms really bad out there. So that's what I was thinking it was. And um, I remember it was so cold that day, and I had just gotten this brand new coat. Back in them days, you know, it was a big fluffy coat. Um, it was blue velvet with that big white fluff around the sleeves and the collar and all, you know, outline the coat and um, the big ass ugly wooden buttons. <laughs> anyway, I took off running because it was coming right at me and I thought I didn't want to get my new coat dirty. So I took off running and that's the last thing I remember until I woke up on the ground and at that at first, I didn't know what had happened. I was sitting on the ground, and my head itched. It didn't hurt. It itched. So I reached up to do this, and then all this just blood just everywhere. Just started. I look what literally looked like Carrie off that movie. And um, so I kind of went like that, like, ow. Then it started hurting, and, you know, I was, like, holding it and ran in the bathroom and looked, and I looked horrible, and it scared me, and. So I go in there to the principal's office and when I walk in there, nobody's in there. I'm like, well, where's everybody at? And all of a sudden you see people coming out from underneath their desks, you know, where they, the principal, the nurse, all them that were in there, they had been hiding from the tornado. Evidently there was a bell that had went off and I was outside. So I didn't hear it. I don't know. But anyway, I got rushed to the hospital, 26 stitches in my head. 
because the damn thing threw me into one of those little bitty poles. So, yeah, you're right. A tornado. And ever since then, I have been, when that movie Twister came out, God, I own that movie. I love that movie. I love it because that was so me all my life. I've just, uh, I've chased tornadoes. I've um, gotten some really pretty pictures of them. Um, I've ran from them too. I guarantee you that. But that would have so been me, you know, that could have been a movie about me, except I didn't go to school to be a meteorologist and all that. But uh, no smokes in 24 hours. Oh, Lady Blind Wolf, I, is that on purpose? Are you trying to quit or you just don't, can't go get any or, God, I'd be flipping out, I think. I don't have a witchy name yet. Lady Blind Wolf, that's cool sounding. I don't have a witch name either. How about Lady Kali for me. Dang, you're like a good love. I love that movie. Yeah, Callie, if, if you want a name, you don't have to have a name. The, the, um, the history behind the witch name, per se, was, you know, back when the women were uh, afraid for people to, to know that they were witches, so they went by different names. Um, they they would not use their real name in case you know anybody charged them with witchcraft exactly and hide your identity um, nowadays we use them just for or I do just for old time's sake you know it's not something that you have to have yeah Carla that 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 was that was a pretty bad smack in the head, I guarantee it. You're broke. Yeah, I know how that is. Hi, Shelly. Well, my goodness. The prodigal daughter returns. Oh, your channel name. I'm pretty good, Shelly. I was wondering about you. In fact, you had me pretty worried. I thought, well, if she don't want to watch my channel anymore, that's fine. But at least let me know she's still alive. <laughs> but yeah, Kelly, you can name, you can pick out any name. But if you do... If you decide you want a name, um, you know, give it some thought. Don't don't just um, pick a name out of nowhere. I mean, you can you can uh, you can ask your goddess to name you. They're going to get rid of me. I hope not. I sure hope not, Carla. So, Shelly, what is it? <laughs> Shelly's going to be going, damn, I'm sorry I even got on here. <laughs> it's too funny. We miss you, too, so explain yourself. <laughs> We're, we're in a goofy mood tonight, so. Yeah, I need to, I guess I need to just come on earlier. I'll, I'll try to do that. It's just, you know, a lot of times, and especially if I'm working, um, of course, I can't come on this time, so. Oh, okay. All right. I guess. No, seriously, I'm glad you're okay, though. I thought, man, I, I kept thinking, did I say something that might have pissed her off? Or 
you know? I mean, because you've been there with me since I started my channel two years ago. Can you believe it's been two years? Wow. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'll 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 come on early then. I, of course, y'all are all different on different time links than me too, or time waves or whatever. It's almost ten o'clock here. Yeah, it's been that long. I think it was two years in October, something like somewhere around in there. I don't know. I'd have to look back on my first video I put out. I'm pretty sure I looked at it and it, it was right around two years or almost two years, something like that. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. I was like, dang. Okay, I'm going to lay down now, perhaps go to sleep. Good night, sweet dreams. You. Okay, Callie, you have a good night. Some applause when you're having fun. Yeah, I guess. You still smuggling? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And you know what? I did a video on that. Um, and it did not take when I went to look back for it. Um, I it, It's nowhere to be found. So I'm going to show it right now. Hang on. Carla will appreciate this. Looky here, Carla. It's so pretty, and it's beautiful green. It's like an emerald green. Kind of looks blue on the thing, but it's not. See, it's like a real pretty velour on this side, and this side's like sheep wool. Oh, my gosh, it's so warm. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's the perfect size for curling up with it on the couch and stuff. Oh, my God, Shelly. It is. It's beautiful. Yeah, Carla, she sent this to me uh, a year and a half ago. I don't, I don't remember exactly when it was, Shelly. I thought it was somewhere around Christmas. I could be wrong. I had to go put it back right quick or uh was it just last year because where i've had it longer than that it's 11 o'clock there lady blind wolf it's almost 10 here oh shelly you're sweet and i was so excited I thought, oh, my, look what she sent me. I don't ever get stuff from people. Not not hanging around for people to send me stuff. That's not what I'm saying. I just, I had never had anybody on my channel send me anything. And it was just, I thought it was just neat as hell. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I guess what I could do, honestly... I don't have any of y'all's addresses, though. Well, I adore you, too, Shelly. You're a sweetheart. And Miss Carla. And Lady Blind Wolf. And Callie. Mm-hmm. 
And there's several others that get on here with me a lot. I feel like I know y'all, even though it's just from here. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Hell Hecate. She loves us. What are you going to do for the full moon, Shelly? Anything? Funny, I just did a pick a card and her card came up. Who? Hecate's? Oh, that is so sweet. Don't make me cry. I'm not going to cry. Huh. Well, let me go get mine and see what I pull. Everybody, okay, everybody get your tarot decks. Get them. Everybody get them out. Pull a card and tell me what you get. Okay, we know what. Oh, let's see. You know what Lady Blind Wolf got? So which one was it, Lady Blind Wolf? Do you what I don't know what deck you have. I have the witch's tarot and that's the only deck I have. Okay. The Witch's Wisdom Oracle Deck. I'm just chilling now and all my candles are lit up. Yeah. I love sitting that way. I just feel so at home and comfortable that way. Sitting around all my candles and my altar room all lit up. Do you have a spell I have to do later? Yeah, me too. That's what that's what I was telling Carla earlier. I just, you know. Um in case you missed it. Um, I don't think Shelly was on here either. I know she wasn't. Um, I'm asking um the witches that watch me or anybody else that comes across me um, until we, until we get through this, uh, this virus issue that um, everybody when during the full moons, you know, try, please try to include something for mother earth to help her heal. Um, and, and, you know, as a whole, the earth and, and ever all the inhabitants that, that is affected by this um, because as I said earlier, this is our, this is our true job. This is what we're put here for. This is why we are who we are. Um, it's not about material things. It's about being the guardians of mother earth. That is our first job. First and foremost, that's our duty as witches to watch over her and her animals. So please make sure that you include something. It doesn't have to be no big elaborate, huge spell or ritual. Just, you know, throw something in there for, for mother earth. I mean, because she, she, after all, without her, we, we are not, we are non-existent. I mean, seriously. 
and she takes care of us. So when she's in need, we need to be there for her. Okay. Anyway, I'll get off the soapbox. <laughs> yes. I think, I think ever, all of us, you know, at one point tonight, the ones that are on here anyway, um, a lot and, and make a healing candle and, and let it burn. Not saying leave it unattended. Don't go to sleep with it burning, please. <laughs> we want to heal the earth, not burn your house down. So, um, yeah, she really needs us right now. Anyway, I don't know what y'all got, but I got the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Now, uh, how do y'all translate that? You got the Six of Wands, Lady Blind Wolf. The Six of Swords. Fire. Willpower change. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from it. That's usually what, what it means is uh, traveling somewhere else. And that, that could be anything. That could be from one house to another. It could be one town to another. It could be one job to another. A relationship. Um, mode of thinking. It could be anything. Any, any sort of transformation. It all depends on how you look at the cards, you know. Oh, the Empress Shelley. Wow. Hmm. Things are pretty much at your disposal right now then. So. I'll tell you what I would do if I were you. You need to... Uh, concentrate your spell tonight around um, something that you really need. I mean, it can be something you want, but something that you need that would be good for you. Um, uh, something that you've been striving for to, to take place, to happen. Um, now's the time. You got the full moon on your side. You've got Hecate on your side. And now you've drawn that card. So. The world is your oyster, madame. <laughs> I had a, another email. A, a younger witch had asked me. Um. When, when, when can I, when am I, pretty much, I don't forget the exact word she said, but when will she be at the top of her game, pretty much, in her practice, and I had to laugh, <laughs> not at her, but, you know, I was like, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're never going to be on the very top. You can be pretty high up there. You can know what you're doing. You can be, uh, you know, really experienced and, and all that stuff. But you're not ever going to be perfect and, and on the top. We're not goddesses in our own right. We are, yes, but we are actually not. I'm just doing a little ammonia jar spell. A little ammonia jar spell. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to. Curse the shit out of somebody just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
we can be pretty close, but we're not. I can make a wish. It would be for you to have everything that you want. Oh, Shelly. Doggone it. Stop it. <laughs> That's so sweet, though. I'll tell you what I wish I could do. I wish I had the money to go and buy a bunch of land, build a bunch of cabins on it, and have an entire witch community. Thank you, Shelly. So are you, hon. And I'm not just saying that. You really are. And all my, all my gals that are on here with me all the time are. Y'all are sweethearts. Yeah, you would, Carla, because don't make me have to go to Yankeeville to get you. <laughs> yes, I called it Yankeeville. <laughs> I'll just go stand in the middle of New York and go, okay, where's Carla? Where's Carla Wall? I've come to get her. Bring her to me. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. How to do that. Erectile dysfunction. Oh. And somebody didn't like that. Who didn't like it? The person you was doing it on? Yes, girl. If they don't like what you do on your channel, they ain't got to watch you. <laughs> really, they if they take that, if, if they take that bad... They would really get messed up. Some of these witches go as far to actually buy the penis candle. I mean, it's a candle and it's a penis. <laughs> Don't ask me. Of course, nothing embarrasses me, y'all. I mean, come on. I'm a nurse. There ain't much I ain't seen or heard. Or... No, but I just want to change a little situation. Oh, okay. Carla. <laughs> I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. <laughs> I better shut up. Carla's going to be putting a spell on my ass. Shut that bitch up. <laughs> I love you, Carla. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure he didn't like that. Been really focusing on it. Yeah. And, and you know, this time of year, it, it all through the, the, the uh, winter months is a really good time for that. Because it just fits in with everything else around you. You know, there's not much sunlight. Um, a lot of people are stuck in their houses during snowy times. Or, um, I mean, shadow work can be done any time. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that um, it's a good time to work on yourself. And as witches, well, as human beings, you don't have to be a witch to uh, know that there's always room for improvement. Do the limp pickle spell, <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> Carla, I know you heard me sitting here going, eh, I can't raise on here. I'm going to light another cigarette. <laughs> Embracing my inner crown. And you know what, Lady Blind Wolf? Now, I forget how old Shelly is. I did know. I think she's just. A couple of years younger than me or older. Yeah, I think we're all crones on here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew he was right around my age. Um, I, I honestly think that as women, forget that we're even witches for a minute, but as women in general, 
as we get older, you know, number one, our bodies are changing. Our bodies change to things that we didn't even know could happen. Okay, seriously. I mean, one minute we want to love on you, the next minute we want to kill you. We got the hot flashes. We got the damn weight gain. You know, we can no longer fit in that sexy dress we used to love to wear. You know, or them tight ass pants that we always liked or, you know, whatever. Our, everything is changing. It's like we're, be, we're mutating and it's annoying and it makes you feel not sexy. Therefore, your sex drive goes down to hell, literally. Therefore, you might lose your man, which I think at this given age, most of us don't care. It's like, okay, so I'm done with you going about your business. <laughs> we don't need you anymore. What do we need you for? You know? I mean, men go through their own thing as they get older, but they don't they don't go through the the physical well, I can think of one, but and and I'm not gonna say it, but um everything's just changing, you know, and um we I won't say we lose our minds. We just, we are not, I swear we become different people. We are not that, that person we used to be. <laughs> I'm 60, definitely a chrome material. Yeah, Carla. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know that there's any definite uh, age, um, criteria that you have to meet to be considered a crow. I think someone told me one time it was 50, but whatever. I guess if you're as old as you feel, they always say that. Well, if that's true, then I'm, I'm pretty damn old. <laughs> that's fine, Lady Blonde Wolf. That's fine, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. And, and sure, don't put yourself in, in, you know, jeopardize your health or anything for that. Just whenever. And you don't even have to do it. Just the thought that you wanted to is sweet, you know. Y'all are so sweet. I have a pill that I call my I don't want to kill Dan pill. <laughs> and what's funny is that's my boyfriend's name, Dan. Yes. You know how many times I've wanted to kill him. <laughs> of course, that's a figure of speech. Let me just put that in there. I want to be coming on here saying I'm a damn murderess. See, so, yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, Shelly. By the way, the psycho neighbors moved out. Still got to deal with the one in the basement. Though. Well, you're halfway there, Lady Blondwell. It's not be a good not to put that spell on them, too. It's a really powerful moon out there. Yes, we are, Shelly. Yes, we are. Yeah, Carla, I think I knew that at one time, and I, I had forgotten or whatever, which is does not surprise me. I forget everything. But that's my old man's name, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Yes, we are, Shelly. That's why I don't understand about some people. And you know what? In, in um, uh, how do I put this? I guess you can say it's kind of like the golden rule that you always learned about the do unto others thing. But um, it, it makes you wonder. It makes you try really hard to be um, to not to be nice and, and treat people the way you'd want to be treated. Because honestly, you never know. I mean, if, if you're not a witch, you're definitely not going to know if somebody that you're dealing with is a witch. You know what I'm saying? And she might 
decided to <coughs> some not so nice things to you if you're if you're hateful and mean to her. <laughs> That's his name when he's not an SOB. Yeah, I understand that, Carla. Believe you me, I do. Kate would say this to us. Yes, she would. We are beautiful. You know, and, and, and there was a time that I would not be seen out of my bedroom without my hair done and my makeup on. Um, and I never left the house without being properly dressed. Now I'd be lucky if I comb my hair. <laughs> I hardly ever wear makeup anymore. And it's nothing for me to, you know, run up here to the store in my pajamas. <laughs> Who cares? You know? I don't know. It's just odd how you change as you get older. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, and now here I'm on YouTube, no makeup on, you know, I'm not, this ain't a porno channel, I'm not on here, you know, to get people to look at me and go, ooh, baby, baby, <laughs> it's a witch channel. <laughs> well, I'm a little afraid to try, yeah, why, Carla? That would be the best thing you could do. Of course, that's she's my mother, so I would say that. But, um, you know, you hear so many different things about her. Um, some people tell you that, that she's uh, mean. I have not ever known her to be mean. Um, now... I'm not going to say that as a mother, she's not going to uh, reprimand you. Um, you know, the, the same as we do our children. You know, you mess up, I'm going to correct you. Um, but it's not like she, you know, smites you down or, you know, throws you into total turmoil or, you know, she just, she helps you to see that 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 whatever you whatever it was that you done is not the right way to do it. And please don't do that again. You know, now it could be, Carla, that. Um, Hecate is a very stern goddess. She she doesn't play around. Um, she's wonderful. She's uh, loving. But stern. You know, she knows, once you know, you know what you're supposed to be doing. She expects that. Um, I wouldn't be afraid of her. And to be honest with you, um, she may not work with you. Well, she may help you, but she may not be with you um, as your per se goddess. Um, now, she is the mother to all witches. Whether, whether you go to her or not. She's watching you. I guarantee it. Um, some of us choose to only follow her. Some of us choose to. She She's my goddess. But that does not mean that, that at times I don't use other goddesses for different works. She's not one of those that are going to be mad at you if you um, go to another goddess. In fact, there's been times uh, with me. And with other witches that I know, that she's led you to another god or goddess to do a certain working with. So, you know, I mean, she she's not going to leave you um, if you work with somebody else. I have a whole video on that, by the way. But, um, yeah, she she's uh, she's your mother. She's just like you would be with your children. Um, she's very wise um, and very, uh, she's just, she's unexplainable. <laughs> Seriously, she is all the above. So, 
Well, Carla, it could be because once, and I will say something. If you go, you don't have to. Now, some witches will tell you different. Um, uh, some will say you need to stay with that one god or goddess, whoever you decide to follow. Okay, well, I don't agree with that. Um, if you choose to, that's your business. But that is not what this religion, quote unquote, is about. Um, we are not uh, polytheistic or, you know, monotheistic. That's what I meant to say. We don't just have one God or goddess. Um, so for another witch to tell you that you have to stay with that one goddess is just completely going against the grain. Um, I stay with her, stick with her. I, I work with her with everything pretty much. Um, because she's, she's all, how do I put it? She's all I need. I mean, um, now I have, like I said, I have worked with other goddesses during certain workings. Um, and no, she doesn't get mad at you for that. Um, she knows that she's at the top of your list and that's all that matters. Um, even if you do decide to go with another goddess for a while or whatever, do a working, you know, I don't ever forget to at least include her, you know, Hecate in my, in my, um, like say if I'm, um, evoking, uh, uh, Bridget, um, you know, the Irish side of me, if I'm in, if I'm evoking her, you know, um, there's times that I'll go ahead and, and invite Hecate. I won't necessarily summon her, but I will put it out there, uh, to my mother Hecate. If you would like to join this circle, you are more than welcome. You know, I invite her to everything I do to to oversee it, to be there with me um, for my own comfort. It's like a child wanting their mama. <laughs> That's how I feel when I'm around her. I seriously do. You ought to, you ought to hear some of the conversations I have with her sitting at my altar. I'm like a, a little kid. It's like, well, mama, what do I do? You know, how do I do this? What? What do I do? <laughs> I talk to her about everything. So, you know, uh, I don't know. You, you can do anything you want. How do I go about it? I'm very new to this, so maybe it's me being unsure of myself. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Shelly, that, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, you can do that, Carla. Uh, what Shelly said. Um, um, what what I would do. You can do that. That's pretty subtle. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of how I went to. Her been so long um, I'll tell you a good thing to do set up you don't you don't have to have no big huge shrine here that's all I'm saying um, you can make us an altar to her um, it doesn't have to be much um, or, or huge it can be just a cardboard box um, you don't have to have a statue of her um, do you, if you have a pinnacle or a necklace, you can use that. Um, if she likes, uh, certain herbs, she likes mugwort. Usually, um, most of the time all witches have mugwort somewhere and it grows wild. So you can go pick it if you, if you need to, um, 
uh, you can, oh, there's just so many little subtle things that you can do. You, you can just put a couple of, you know, a, 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 okay, say if you have a, a candle, um, use a black candle. Um, put you some regular uh, olive oil or even vegetable oil. Um, you know, put that around your candle. Then sprinkle you some mugwort on there. Um, put it in your candle holder. You can put a, you can maybe have a, a, a glass of wine. Um, she likes cake, chocolate cake. I found you can have her uh, a little piece of chocolate cake or maybe a chocolate cupcake. Um, you can set the cupcake and the wine there um, with your candle. Something as simple as that. Um, there's your offerings to her. Um, and <clears throat> a lot of witches write things out. They petition a lot. I do that. If um, like if I'm going to spell, but most of the time, if I'm trying to contact a goddess or God, I'll usually I'll do, you know, give them their uh, I'm going to go blank if I don't hurry and get it out here. I'll give them their offerings and I already know what I want to ask them or want them to reveal to me. So when I go in there, I'm not stuttering. You know, I'm not sitting here like I am with y'all going. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I go in there and I know exactly what I want. And I put it out there. And um, uh, you, you can ask her, show me signs. Now you're going to have to know her signs. <laughs> um, the best thing you can possibly do is read up on her. There's so much information of, on her out there. There's so many signs. Um, I, I don't even know where to begin to start. Uh, there's a lot of different signs. You, you may start seeing keys everywhere. Um, you may. She loves horses. All of a sudden, everywhere you go, there may be a herd of horses around. Yes. Yes, exactly, Shelly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, people, a lot of, a lot of times people need confirmation. Um, you want to know that you're not just sitting there talking to yourself. Um, believe it or not, even at my stage in the practice, I still sit there sometimes like, and I just don't feel anything, you know, I've had nights to where I sit in there and all my candles are lit. My incense are going and I've done my meditation and I open my eyes and the air is so thick that I literally can just see the ether surrounding me. It's that it, it gets that magical. And every every inch of me becomes magic from the tips of my hair to my toenails. Everything is magic. I can feel it coming out of my fingertips, um, out of my elbows, like lightning. Um, you, it gets so magnetic sometimes or electric that I can almost feel the, the hair on my head standing up, like if you're on static electricity. Um those are the, t the moments that you live for. It's like, yes, everything is coming together. I can't lose it. I'm going to keep going with the ether. Here we go. And then you start. And once you relax and you get into, should I say, the witch moment, um, everything seems to automatically start happening. You just know what to do. It's almost like a second nature. You you know what to say. You know. And don't go in there like a timid little girl. 
Okay. Big, strong advice here. Whenever you summon your goddess, whether it be Hecate, Bridget, or a god, um, uh, there are there's thousands of them. I could name all kinds of them, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Go in there with a stern voice. You want to be heard. You deserve to be heard. You will be heard. This will happen. You know what I'm saying? And once you get their attention, and you'll feel that, you'll feel the, the, the attention on you. It may, you may feel like you've got eyes staring at you. And it may creep you out at first, Carla, but don't stop. Don't stop what you're doing. You want it to freak you out. You want to experience that. You want to be where very few people can go that aren't witches, you know. Um, it will be scary at first. or I wouldn't even necessarily say scary. It's intimidating because it's something you're not used to. Um, but you know that that something is there in that room with you besides you, okay? Um, now, here's also to where I always have to throw in, especially to the newer witches, whenever you're calling on um, these gods and goddesses, you need to throw something in there that states that only they are allowed to enter. If you cast your circle, which I would recommend until you know how to get rid of something, if it shows up that you don't want there, okay? Something really bad you don't want there. You have to know how to get rid of it. So um, whenever you call, you mention, you can say, I call on Hecate, make up your own chant. Do your, do your research on her. Make up your own chant to call her. Um, you don't even have to have a chant at first. As you, as you start talking to her more, she will tell you. She will let you know. All of a sudden, you'll be sitting there and you'll have thoughts pop in your head. You know, it's like somebody just put this poem or this incantation in your head out of nowhere. That's her. But make damn sure that everything, because whenever you're casting and you're calling, you open up a whole new realm and every ear in there can hear you. And you're opening that portal to where anything can come through there. So you want to make dead sure that what you have let come through that portal is what you wanted there. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, usually with Hecate, she won't let anything come through there with her. If she does, She's got it under control. You don't have to worry about it. Um, so once you know you have her attention, she's not very, I'm not, I don't want to put it this way, but I don't know any other way to put it. She's not that patient. She, uh, or with me, she's not. Now, I don't know how she is with everybody else. Now, there's times that I know for a fact she has sat with me all night. I just know she was there, that she did not leave my side that whole night um, for a specific reason. But most of the time, she's she's kind of like the type that will show up and say, okay, you have my attention. What do you need? Okay. Tell her, right then and there, you know, spill your guts out, your heart out. Whatever's on your mind, give it to her. Um, she is the eater of filth and trash. She will regurgitate it back out and, and make it nice again. Does that make sense? Um, but don't hum haw around about it. She, she don't like that. No, exactly. And this is best to do before you go before any of the gods and goddesses. Know what you want. Know what to add, what you're going to ask for. Um, 
a good witch is one that knows. And and it's and you almost put it to them like, no, I don't believe in demanding. I don't think that'd be a good idea, especially with Hecate. But be firm because they're used to being on a firm level. Does that make sense? I mean, you can't caterwaul around and go, well, Hecate, you know, I need this. No. <laughs> That portal is what worries me. Well, that's always a chance. Now, I'm not going to lie to you about it, Carla. Um, there's always a chance that something else can come through there. Um, but I think whenever you, I haven't ever, I haven't had any trouble. You know, um, calling on a specific god or goddess um, I just haven't had any trouble with it so far knock on wood now I'm not going to say that there hadn't been things lingering around that if she hadn't have been there might not have caused me a little bit of, of grief but um you have to remember, she is she guides the dead. You know that's one of her many many tasks or jobs or whatever you want to call them. Um, so these spirits pretty much don't want to mess with her. Um, then you know you've got uh, um, Brimo. Uh, another one of her epithets um, she she goes in demon form because she does spend a lot of her time in Hades and um, she has that side to her you know and how she appears to you or me or Shelly or whoever may be different she may she may approach you differently. Um, she, it's just what she wants to do. And that, that's what it is. And, you know, whenever you're, you're calling on her, if you're worried about something else coming through that portal, just say, um, no, nothing else is allowed here except for the goddess Hecate and who, if anyone, she decides to bring with her. But she won't bring anything in there that's going to hurt you. And if you've already been thinking about her, you know, she already knows you're, you're there. She already knows about you. She may just be waiting on you to Call on her. I mean, she's not just going to butt in. You know, I mean. She's like, well, when she needs me and figures me out, she'll call me. But most witches um, know about Hecate and work with her, if not follow her completely. Because she is the, the goddess of the witches. Um. So I can't I can't even imagine any of the witches not. Um, even if they're of a different pantheon. Um, I did a video just the other night about Hecate showed up in the Egyptian pantheon. Yeah. Um, but well, you'll have to watch the video, but you have to understand that in Egyptian culture and at one time in any culture, when it came to the gods and goddesses, because the goddesses used to be the, the ones, you know, the, there were male gods, of course, but they weren't as important as the females. Well, when everything switched around, the females got pushed to the bottom of the ladder. 
And so, um, uh, in e Egypt, that same thing happened, and there is a God. Um, I wish I still had my notes, but you, you can watch the video. Um, they, uh, uh, oh, trying, let me think, let me think. Oh, his name's Heka. Yeah. The god of magic in Egyptian culture's name was Heka. Yeah. Uh, which means magic in Egyptian. Well, it's some other word if I can find it. It's a different. Oh, damn it. Uh, Uh, da, 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 da. I'll find it somewhere, maybe. This is why I don't throw anything away. I'll have all these notes down. Aha, uh -huh. here it is. Okay, just real quick. Did you watch the video? Yeah, because uh, Heka is the god of magic and medicine in the Egyptian pantheon. Now, to me, that's just too much of a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's also called Hekal. Hekal. And the long name I was trying to think of is Wertikal. W-E-R-E-T-H-E. K A U, Wertikal. I'm sure the H was silent being Egyptian. Or Wer Wertikal. Or Wertikal. Wertikal means greater magic in Egyptian. And she was also actually. Um, in in the verse that actually in the papyrus, the Greek, the Egyptian papyrus, they uh, found um, she was actually associated with the sun god, with Ra. Yeah, she's just so. I, I swear, you're never going to stop learning about her. It just ain't going to happen. About the time you think, okay, well. Um, there she is. That's her and all her glorious wonder. She pops up someplace else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shelly Drop. Just go in there, you know. I would, like I said, I would have, you know, she, I would have something there for her. Some sort of offering, just to just to show that I had done my research on her and I was serious about going to her. Um, that's a good way to get her attention. It's like, oh, she's done. Hmm. She's done her research. You know, she she's been studying about me. She thought enough of me to give me this, so I guess I'll give her audience. You know, give her an audience and. There you go. Who knows? But now, whenever you do feel, if you do get to feeling weird, a lot of times when she appears to me, first I'll, I'll just feel her looking at me. And I cannot tell you which direction it's coming from. It, it happens so fast. Sometimes I don't feel like she's up there looking down at me. Sometimes I don't feel like she's over here, over here. Sometimes it feels like she's behind me staring a hole through the back of my head. <laughs> so, you know, but the air will change. If, if she, if she actually shows up, this is my experience the air just gets so thick. I mean, honestly, there's times I, I find it hard to breathe 
when she's around. She has a very extremely strong presence. Um, I get really hot. I sat in there and talked to her and come out like I had just literally been standing in a sauna. I was just soaked. <laughs> and I'm very cold natured. So, um, everybody's going to have a different experience with her. Yeah, it's, 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 it's heavy. It's like, I, I, you just have to experience it for yourself. I mean, it's almost like the air is so thick that you can just reach out and make balls out of it. <laughs> yeah, you can almost see it. And when, when you breathe it in, it, it, feels heavy I don't know but and I mean anytime you go before these these uh, um, gods and goddesses no matter which one they are some of them tote around more power than others um, their energy is just astounding and, and, and it's energy that our bodies aren't used to so we we have to uh we, we just have to get used to it, you know. That's why you need to prepare yourself for it. Um, know possibly what my, nobody told me. I mean, whenever I became a witch um, or actually knew that I was and started practicing, we didn't have the internet. Um, and I dang sure didn't have any other witches around me to help me <laughs> or to answer my questions or um to uh to let me know that that's normal that's gonna happen you know um shoot the first time that um hecate came to me i wasn't scared at all i thought i literally was just dreaming and i was i think i've told this story on one of my other videos so i won't go into it again but i was only like nine years old yeah and um, until later on, when somehow or another, my past ran right into her and um, I started studying about her, everything just started falling into place. Everything just became so clear. It's like, oh, my gosh, that's who that was. I've seen that night. <laughs> and it was just like a whole new world had opened up to me. And I didn't feel crazy anymore. I always felt so crazy and weird and, you know, felt way out of place from everybody else. And that's because I was and I am. <laughs> I'm different. A lovely different. A video she came to you. Yeah, you did watch it, Shelly. Yeah. Yeah, because I thought it was my mother. I thought I was dreaming of my mama. Yep, through the window. It was just so amazing to me. Hmm. Yeah, that was my first run in with her. But I didn't realize it until I got older. You know, I mean, where I was in a... Um, uh, a boarding school top thing and um, you sure didn't have any access to any kind of witchcraft and you better not ever get caught if you even thought about it and um, there wasn't any books not not accessible to me anyway and um, you know nowadays there's all kinds of his stuff on the history channel and um uh, documentaries on uh, witchcraft and, and the elder times and what have you. And uh, there was none of that back then. You had three channels. <laughs> and what was it? At midnight, the TV went off. I don't remember what time it came back on. I know it was on at six in the morning because that's when daddy used to wake me up to make me watch cartoons with him on Saturdays. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, 
so for a lot of years, I just went on. But the 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 witch in me kept growing, if, if that makes sense. Um, I just I just knew that I was very different, you know. Yeah, we are, Shelly. But yeah, it, it's it's just amazing how how your how your path can go. Burgos, I told you, you're my twin. <laughs> I did tell you that. And now we're sisters in Hecate, so we're stuck with each other. We are all stuck with each other, and I love it. I grew up with, yeah, I had three, Carla. I had four, seven, and ten. You're a Leo, Carla? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, but you know, this path is so interesting. I, I can't, I cannot, I can't imagine being on any different path. That's for sure. And I can roar. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> I bet you can, Carla. Kind of like me, I'll, I'll do anything in the world for anyone and be the best person I can be, but somebody hurts my feelings or hurts somebody I love or <sighs> so sorry. I'm not responsible for my thoughts. <laughs> and my thoughts tend, tend to, to come to fruition, so I have to really watch what I'm what I'm doing a lot of times, like especially when I'm mad. Yeah. 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 I think uh, I think most people are that way, you know, it's like I'll do whatever I can for you, but you know. Don't abuse that. <laughs> oh, it's almost eleven o'clock. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. To tell people tonight, just make sure you do something for the earth during this full moon, and every full moon after that until she's healed again. It's really sad. Um, I think tonight I'm just going to, um, do a great, you know, I don't even know that I'll do a spell. I may do, I mean, how can you put a spell on mother earth? <laughs> That'd be a humongous task to take on, wouldn't it? I mean, because all the gods and goddesses are already trying to help her. You know? Yeah, I think I think that's pretty much what I've decided on. Um, I don't think I'll do anything. If I do anything for me, it'll probably... A lot of times I'll just go in there and, and ask for continued guidance. You know? Um um, just ask them to make sure that I am being the best witch I can be and doing my job properly, <laughs> you know, and if I'm not, then, then show me, um, or what I need to do that makes it, would make it better. I 
Okay, Carla. So are you planning on, are you planning this ceremony? Are, are you talking about going to Hecate this evening? Carla, don't leave yet. <laughs> Answer me. Are you planning on going to Hecate tonight? Is she gone? Yeah, I think I forgot to her cleanse. I, I forget so much anymore, Shelly. I really do. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. There's Lady Blind Wolf. I thought she left us. Yeah, Carl, if anything, just, just mention her name. Just just call on her. Just go in there like you'd sit with anybody, you know, say I would like to call on the goddess Hecate. I don't necessarily work with deities, but I did honor her. So okay. Well that's fine, Lady Blimel. I don't I don't know how. Um, thank you, Carla. And it's so good to talk to you again. I'm going to start coming on here earlier. So, I, you know, I know a lot of y'all are normal. <laughs> y'all probably work during the day and sleep at night. And I'm up all night. So. Oh, you did. OK, I, I kind of thought you might have. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I have I have a lot of witches tell me that that they don't work with deities. I don't know how they don't. I mean, I'm not saying it's not possible by no means. I'm just saying um I'd be lost without my mother. <laughs> I can't be without her. Just listening, forgetting my mind. I'm supposed to. Be. Yeah, Carla, we love you, girly, girly girl. <laughs> I, I'm so thankful. I have such good witches on my side. I'm so thankful for y'all. Good night, darling. Blessed be. I got to get a Dr. Pepper. Oh, damn. I still haven't done my dinner dishes. My Lord. I do request a... Your crush from the God and Goddess of Dark and Light as a whole and the elements, my ancestors and spirit. Oh, okay. So you're what I would call an elemental witch. You work with the elements. That's fine. However you want to do it. I'm just, I depend greatly on my mama. <laughs> yes, I do. And the bad thing about that is, is she tells me she puts everything right in front of my face. And what do I do? I go the opposite direction. <laughs> but I think she expects me to do that. She's like, well, I can tell you what's going to happen. You know, this is what you need to do, but you're probably not going to do it. You're going to do what you want to do, like you've always done. Then I'll go crying back to her. How did I mess up being the puny human that I am? <laughs> mm. 
Well, yeah. So you're 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 kind of more um, the uh, Native American magic, should I call it? And see that that's in my family too, but it was just never talked about. I mean, my my grandmother, my mother's mother, um, that side is Cherokee Indian. And um I remember when I was younger and I'd say somebody, you know, I'm gonna cut my hair. One night I told her, I said, I need to cut my hair. And, she said, no, wait, wait till the full moon, then cut it if you want to cut it. But she'd say little stuff like that. And I never did say, how come? I just did what she said. I don't know. And even if she was a so-called witch, um, she would have never told me that. Probably because she would be afraid of what my mother. Now, my mama, my earth mother, she um, she has certain things that go on and, and, the, and she senses and stuff. But she shies away from them. She don't she don't run to them. She never has. I, it, with her, it's all uh, what you see is what's here. She's one of them type of people. So. Appalachian canter because I do a lot of Celtic practice too. Yeah, see, I, I, and you'd think me being Irish, that's what I do. But honestly, I was pretty much, uh, I wouldn't say raised in it because I wasn't raised. I raised myself as far as the path goes. But uh, my blood origin were were Irish so you would think that that would be the um, path that I went by but I just got into the Greek path um, that there there was more information on it um, and that's just what I grew up with so that's what I ended up going with Turkeys in your family also, yeah. Yeah, my mother's side's Cherokee and my dad's side um, is Crow. And I'm white as hell. I think my cat was scratching on the door right now. I need to do something with my screen. I don't know if that's... I don't know. I'm starting to get red faced. Y'all can see it. I don't know how that happens. I have lupus, so... It'll do that. And I'll start getting red blotches everywhere. <laughs> Shelly, you're biased. But thank you. You know, one of these days, if I can make sure that everybody's going to be on here, we'll have to plan to where we get on here and do um, a ritual together. I think that would be neat. And see, that's just pretty much what I am, Lady Blind Wolf. Well, the Native American and Irish. I'm not Scottish that I know of. But we're Cherokee and Irish. And Crow. Quit that. 
You could have a Greek ancestor that you weren't on. That's true. I think, honestly, I think in another life, in my most recent life before this one, I honestly think I lived in Greece. I think so. Because my entire life, I've had dreams of the water. Um, the ocean, I mean, you know, like um, cliffs and um, it's just, it's just, amazing some of the stuff I've seen in my dreams um and I haven't ever really ever been around the ocean I mean I, I was born and raised in West Texas there's hardly any water much less than ocean it's that deep south plains of Texas so um I mean I have seen the ocean when I went to California um and I was out there for about three months but that was it so um yeah, uh, I just, y'all, y'all, I just can't explain how I feel when I see pictures of Greece or of the water, you know, the beach, the coastline. For some reason, I just feel like I have been there before. You do, Shelly? Well, you know, the Atlanteans and the Grecians weren't too far apart. Um, that's, see, I love talking about this. I could be on here for hours talking about all this kind of stuff. <laughs> um, now, um, as far as, and not this past, spring but this, a year ago um I had won some money I'm gonna admit something to y'all that I shouldn't but I love to gamble I am a gambling fool I really am bad I know bad bad but I love it cards machines anything I just you know I mean it's not so bad that you know I'm gonna Lose my house or some kind of shit like that, but I do love to gamble, and uh, I don't always win. <laughs> but this one time, um, a year ago, uh, I went and I won almost eleven thousand dollars, and um. Right then, I said, my, the first words out of my mouth was, I'm going to Greece. With that money, that's what I was going to do. And um, I had been talking, I have uh, a, a friend over there, him and his wife. Um, I used to talk to him all the time. Um, and he lives in Athens. And he would send me pictures of the Parthenon and um, the statues, uh, the statue, there's a statue of Poseidon, you know, standing up on top of this uh, hill overlooking the ocean. And oh, I just, whenever I looked at them pictures, you guys, it was like, that's my home. That's how I felt. I shit you not. I just, it was like a part, there was a, there was something inside of me that just filled up with pure elation. I cannot explain it. It's like that feeling when, it, well, it's home. It's like something is so familiar. <laughs> and you yearn for that. You yearn to be there. You want to be back there so bad. I can't explain it. But that's how I felt. So I'm just sure, I'm positive that it, I, I was in Greece at one point or another in another world, in another lifetime. I mean, I get, I get a certain peace. I'm fixing to come in there and smack you if you don't stop that. Hang on a sec. Let me go. I got to only let my big cat out or he's going to claw my door all to hell. I'll be right back.
Anyway, sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Um, and like my broom that uh, I got from uh, the Ukraine, I had her made for me um, by a family that has made witches' brooms for centuries. Um, and they made mine and sent it to me. And uh, I was talking to him about that. But when, when, she, when she arrived, the minute I got her out of the box, it was just, I don't know. It's just a beautiful feeling. Well, I had to pay for her, Shelly. Mm -hmm. I mean, she wasn't cheap. But she's worth every penny of it. Um, if I could go, I could probably go get her down. I don't. Have you ever seen my broom? My real broom? I don't know. Let me, let me go see if I can get, I, she hangs on the wall. So just set. I have to get my step stool here. Can you see her? <laughs> oh, I have to move my chair. She's different. There's that part. She's pretty dang long, too. Ah, I knew I'd do that. It's hard to get her all in one picture. <laughs> yeah. She's got all this on her. Isn't she pretty? She's my baby. Yes, she is. Do you put your room up or down? If well, I don't ever I don't ever have her on the floor in any shape, form, or fashion. She she hangs on the wall. I've got uh, two brackets that that hang up that she uh, hangs on just like this. Yeah. She needs to be dusted and yeah, I love her. I love her. Yeah, she's just made so neat looking. I don't even remember what I paid. Uh, 
what I paid them to make her now. And of course I had to pay for the, you know, the shipping and handling and crap too. So <laughs> let me see. I can't get her back up there. I don't think. Good grief. <laughs> I'm a mess. Yeah. She's my baby. <coughs> I, uh, I went ahead and put her in there in my altar room. Uh, laid her across my table in there. She's going to. I need to do some work on her. She hasn't been down and cleansed in a while. No, she doesn't yet, Shelly. Um, the reason being is because um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to put on her. And I don't have the right tools anyway. And I do not want to mess her up. So I'm scared to death to do anything to her. Because <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to afford another one. I don't want to mess her up. I mean, I have I have little charms and um, things, you know, and I, I've thought about it and I've thought about it. It's just like I have a wand in there. Um, a certain wand that... Uh, has it's just bland it has nothing on it yeah that's what i need is a wood burning tool excuse me but i don't have one so along with my wand it's just gonna have to wait until something hits me you know that i want on there Yeah, I thought about that too, but how would you get it on there? Yeah, Lady Blind Wolf. Sure, I always have time for questions. Not saying I can answer it, but I'll try. Yeah, um, how, would, how would I get it on there? I mean, it'd have to be really small because, I mean, are you talking about putting it on the handle? You know what? Ah, wait, watch, look, that, 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 that. hang on, hang on. See right here. See right here. That perfectly uh, smoothed out piece of that wood. It'd be a perfect place for a pinnacle. Yes. Yes. And these branches. There's two pieces of wire, of copper wire. Um, I don't know that it's copper. Anyway, there's two pieces of wire right here. What I could do 
Um, oh, see, all of a sudden ideas are coming to me. What I could do, I have a bunch of those little charms. You know, the they there's little brooms and there's little uh, pinnacles and stars and little moons and suns and all that. I'm going to put her back. There's no place to lay her in here. Oh, no, no, no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, I don't know if you heard me holler, hell no, but <laughs> walked in the living room and dropped her on the ground. Oh, well. Okay, we're, uh, all right, let's see. All right, hang on. Okay, so do you, okay. Google it. And, okay, yep, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm doing shadow work. There's a 30 day series. Is that I've been working at? Doing shadow work. There's a 30 day. Okay, Lady Blow, I'm not understanding. Um, okay, so I am doing shadow work. There's a 30 day series. Is that I've been working at. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I don't understand that. Siri? Is it? I'm going to... We were supposed to do a med meditation introducing ourselves to our shadow self. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're doing this on Siri. Is it, are you talking about the phone app? Charge them up, yeah. But I saw two other women I couldn't quite clearly see. But it wasn't me, and I'm supposed to be looking at my shadow so. Well, oh, well, maybe maybe those two women are part of your shadow self. Maybe there's um, uh, maybe they're influencing that shadow self. Or maybe you need to just make them disperse, get rid of them. You could always just go and get you some jewelry water from Walmart and touch your charm gently. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, uh, around the the uh, hearth of the room, it's got wire around it in two separate spots holding the hearth on or together. So I could just, you know, uh, put them around that. Maybe. I don't want to loosen that up though, because then I'll have the issue of maybe all my bristles falling out of my room. Like a shadow person. That's what I'm asking her, Shelly. I'm not understanding what she's seeing. Because that's not usually what shadow work is, not not that I know of. I mean 
when when you do shadow work, you look at yourself and only yourself. And everybody, um, I, I don't I, I don't look at shadow work like everybody else does. I don't think either, because I I believe you need a shadow side. Um, you just don't need to. That's why it's called a shadow side. It's it's the shadow. It stays in the shadow. You need to keep it cleaned out. You need to keep it in check. But, uh, you know, now if you've got something else messing around, dancing around in there, then there's a 30-day shadow work. Oh, work series on someone's channel I'm doing. Oh, okay. So, okay, I got you. See, I, I, I've just never done that. Usually one time a month around uh, the dark moon, I'll do some shadow work. But other than that, I mean, I think all in all, we all work on the shadow side a little bit every day, whether we know it or not. I mean, the shadow side of you is just, this, you know, the side where all your doubts come from. And oh, it's a YouTube series. It's on somebody's channel. I may know who that is. I don't know. It may be somebody I watch. I watch a lot of the, the witch channels. Even if they're not necessarily on my path, I still watch them. I just like listening. Learning about other paths and other ways and. And I keep reassuring myself that I'm not insane, that there's other people that believe this way. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and, it, and it's fun to learn, you know, um, just like uh, the left hand path, as they call it. Um, I don't work with demons. Um, but I, I, there's like three channels that I watch that they work with demons. I don't have a problem with that. Um, that's just their, their pantheon, you know, just take a piece of copper and wind it from the tip of the brim part and attach your charms as you go. And you don't have to mess with the wire that's around already there. Yeah, that's true. See, that's what I was telling Shelly. I'm just so afraid I'm going to mess something up that I just haven't done anything with it. it, it literally, I would just hate myself beyond words if I messed that broom up. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <sighs> Yeah. And the thing is, I have brooms all over my house. You know, but, uh, a lot of times, you know, during the year, a certain season, in fact, it's that time now where the cinnamon brooms come out. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Store, Family Dollar. Um, even some grocery stores just have them sitting around, but they're the, the little cinnamon brooms. I love them things. I love the way they smell and look, and I just hang them all over my house. <laughs> Sometimes in my house, all they're going to see is brooms. But, and I uh, also have a smaller one uh, that, uh, of course, didn't come from the Ukraine. But they honestly look like they'd be so easy to make, you know. Um, 
I just wanted to get the reason I main reason I got that um, my big broom in there from the Ukraine was because it was made by the same family that has been making the witches brooms for centuries. And um, it, they're, they're called the Nash family, N-A-S-H. Betsy, I've never done shadow work before. Need to work on some childhood traumas and some stuff. I'm combining this series with a few other suggestions from other channels, writing down all my traumas, doing the exercise, writing down what triggers me. She did an exercise where we had to do a tarot reading for ourselves, and I've done a few of those. Yes, main dancer. Huh. That's the name of the channel. Or the name of the person that's doing it. Huh, I may have to check it out just for something different. I've only got like 40 channels and stuff I watch on here. <laughs> I haven't seen Aiden lately either, have you? I wonder what he is doing. He's a good kid. But yeah, um, shadow work's good. Um, once you get all this aired out, though, Lady Blind Wolf, um, because you're going way back, which is, you know, where you start. But um, once you get caught up to where you are now, and that may take you a while. It depends on how much trauma you have to deal with and um, all that. But I would, I would get, I would make that part of my routine to do that at least once a month or once every six months, and at the very latest, once every year. That way you can keep that. You don't have to go as far back. You see what I'm saying? And it doesn't take that long. It doesn't take as much energy, and you don't have all that bad karma and that, that bad energy building up and that, that shadow self of you, that's of you acting up, acting out, because that's what it's there for. <laughs> It's a side that, you know, the, the voice in your head all the time that when you're thinking about something and it'll go, no, you need to do this. And no, you need to do that. And it's that little voice. Yeah, that way is one whole piece of wire and you, if you mess it up, you can just take it off and it doesn't fit. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but see, and I don't have anything. You'd have to have something to uh, hold that wire down, you know, to to press it down. And then how are you going to get your pendants to stay on there without wrapping them in that wire? And that, that'd be kind of hard to do. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's what it's... Just don't mess with it. <laughs> Just wood burner. Yeah, see, I thought about that too. But I don't have a wood burner. Oh, maybe that's what I can do one day. Get on here. Just start 
decorate my broom, y'all get on here and say, okay, now do this. And you can watch me do it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be long and boring, wouldn't it? <laughs> Call in line, it's cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, get me one off of Amazon. You know, I have a spoon up here that and it's been wood burned and we did it right here in this house so I can't remember I can't remember if maybe if Dan had borrowed a wood burner or if he had one somewhere or still has one I don't know I did this like this. Help. I'm gonna break my spoon when I do this. Oh my god, I can't get out of here. There it goes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, see, he made this for me. It's got a snake that's wrapped around here. And then on the back. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. Yeah, okay. Let she goes by main dancer. Oh, okay, I'm kind of blocked off my Facebook right now. So, and I have been for two weeks. Blocked? What'd you do? <laughs> What'd you do to get blocked from Facebook? Uh, message Tim and Willow Night Owl. Yeah, I haven't seen her lately either. I, I really like her. And she spoke to him the other day. Personally, I don't think he's doing too well. Shelly. I don't know where, where I got this, though. I don't know where I got the, where, how we would burn it. I don't. I don't know how we did that. Anyway, it's just my little kitchen witch spoon. I'm just going to put more stuff on it and do more stuff to it. This right here, it's supposed to be a snake. <laughs> yeah, see? This is why we don't draw. I'm going to have to put some over that because I just don't care for it. It just don't. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Shelly. I swear you're my best cheerleader. It's great. It looks like a penis, but it's great. <laughs> Shut up, Tammy. <laughs> Funny.
Yeah. The circle isn't all that straight either. I just can't, I just can't draw y'all. And so he did it for me. And these actually need to be touching here. But I didn't complain about it. Touch the charms as you wand it. Yeah. Well, that's the only way you could do it. But how would you keep it? I guess you just have to put it on there extremely tight, huh? The copper, the wire. I don't know. Copper's a good conductor. That's why most of us have them on there, our wands. I don't want my broom taking off by itself. <laughs> Come home one day and it's going fly all over my house. Wouldn't that be awesome? But now I do have a lot of stuff, a lot of trauma I feel I need to fix. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, we all have trauma, some worse than others. Everybody has their own private hell. Um, and a lot of times people um, suppress that so deep, you know, tamp it down so damn deep that um, you think it's not going to surface again. And then you find yourself in a certain situation or somebody says what I like to call tr a trigger word. Um, says something that you know will set you off and bring that right back up just like it never went away so it never goes away until you deal with it fix it get rid of it um so yeah i i, I think shadow work's extremely important well damn i'm going to fly on that room <laughs> well you just Get her done, Shelly. I'll put a landing strip like I like people do for Santa every year on top of my house. So you'll know exactly where I'm at. <laughs> and I'll be out there going. I already have a sign in my driveway that says which parking only. All others will be towed. T O A D. <laughs> what is twelve bucks, Lady Blind Wolf? The the wood burners or the copper wire? What? Do you, which one are you talking about? That's my problem. I don't know. I know I want to put my charms on there. I could. I'm going to wrap the copper around the bottom where the other is wrapped around. And put the charms on that so they'll hang down. Onto my. Uh, the hearth of my broom. The girth. I don't know. I went to go on the account for my YouTube channel and it knocked me off my other account and I was having issues with Messenger. So I took it down and brought it back up and I forgot my password. Oh, so they didn't kick you off. I thought you meant Facebook kicked you off of there. my other Facebook so I have to wait and get a charger for my computer so we can hook it up to my daughter's phone and I can get on my Facebook that way and she, oh okay oh okay all right 
Dang, woman. Bless your heart. Huh. Well. Lindy's going through a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was asking you if the wood burners were like 12 bucks. Well, I may have to invest in one then. It'll be like a new toy every broom and everything I have in my house that's made of wood. I'll be putting pinnacles all over it. <laughs> mm, that door facing looks like it needs a pinnacle. <coughs> I'm so crazy. I used to wood burn quite a bit, but I think when we made a lost my wood burner, I got for my birthday last year, so I'm going to have to get another one. A piece of log, and I want to make a pendulum board. Yeah, see, and I even actually, I have a good friend um, that uh, she likes Ouija boards. Now, I am not a Ouija board person, and I don't allow them in my house. I know this sounds very odd coming from a witch, but I don't like them. Um, well, first of all, they're so unpredictable. Um, and they contain or retain, should I say, energy that sometimes is not wanted or not and definitely not welcomed. Um, if now if I had one that I created myself I would probably be okay with that but any factory made or bought at a garage sale or a flea market or something like that I just I just cannot Something will not let me get one. Personally, the only man I allowed to keep me up all night anymore. Mr. Coffee, he's <laughs> Lady Blumble. But yeah, Shelly, um, I, uh, I don't know. I'm just really leery of them because, as I said, being being a witch. I know that whenever you're calling on or talking to something, it's not necessarily what you think you called on. And, and I don't know. I'm just really leery of them. Well, that's true. That's true, Shelly. But I also believe that, that she believes that we have common sense too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do because I think they're so neat. I mean, I have seen some, Shelly, that are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, just the artwork on them is phenomenal. I'd get them just because they were so pretty, even if I never used them. You know, um, I've seen some that were coffee tables. Do you have a bunch of them, Shelly? I would probably, you know, I don't know, like, like say, and no, this, this isn't hinting around, Shelly. <laughs> but somebody I knew really well, especially if they were another witch, um, yeah, like say if they sent me one or gave me one for a present or whatever, I would be less leery than I would if somebody else gave me one. Does that make sense? 
Well, yeah, I mean, I do that. I do that uh, all the time. But oh, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I guess now that um, used to, when my kids were little, I damn sure wouldn't have had one in the house. Yeah. And isn't that weird? It's almost like I'm afraid of them. And I'm a witch. I can control the lightning if I choose to. <laughs> and I don't want this board in my house. Oh, I don't know. But that could be a project for me. I believe in myself. I'm just not, I don't trust some of these entities. Um, and us being witches, we are way more susceptible to having them um, per se look us up and find us because we are so connected. So, you know, we're, Yeah, yeah, she will. I know that. It's just, oh, I just, I don't want to put her in that position. <laughs> then she'll be mad at me. She'll get them all off me and then she'll go, now you knew better than that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm seriously thinking about it. Number one, she's the keeper. That's true. That's true. But I don't know. I just don't want nothing stomping around or, you know, hanging around in my house that I don't want there. Freaking me out or giving me bad energy or causing bad shit to happen because... I really don't want to have to banish, but I will. Yeah. Well, and that's what I was going to say when you said that. Uh, it's funny how we were kind of on the same page there. Um, you know, if I did get me a, a wood burner, this would be a good time for me to make my own Ouija board. But me, being the perfectionist I am, I would have to look at the exact perfect kind of wood to make one with. Oh, it would just be, it, I would drive myself crazy with it. See, I, a little, a small task to everybody else turns out to be this big, huge matter with me. When we moved the charger from our computer, I got from other state got lost. Oh, yeah. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'd do if I lost my stuff or anything to do with my computer. I mean, it's, I pretty much do everything on here. It's, as y'all know, it's my social platform. I play all my games on my Facebook and, Yeah, Shelly, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to. Uh... In fact, I saved a tutorial. Um, I watched, well, I've watched several people make them. But um, I actually saved one. Because she made it look, you know, pretty easy. And hell, even if I just hang it up in my house, you know, yeah, something simple. Yeah, and she even made, you know, the cursor 
I know there's another name for it, but I, I like to call it a cursor. It's a lot easier for me to remember. Make a Ouija board for your pendulum. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that's an idea. I get next to my broom. Uh, my broom sits on the wall in the middle of my kitchen or my living room. I haven't used them yet, but I'm going to make up some spirit powder to cleanse them off and put a sigil on the back of each one for protection. Uh... Yeah. What what sigil would you use? Just a protection sigil, or would you? Well, you don't use uh, a goddess, so you wouldn't use one of their sigils. He Hecate has several different sigils. There, and I came this close. If the man would have showed up, I would have had a tattoo. Of one of her sigils on me by now. Yeah. That's what I was just saying, Shelly. I mean, I was going to have one. I already had it. It was going to be tattooed on my person. But he never did show up. So. And he was going to do it really friggin' cheap, too. Just for me, but I mean, anywhere else I went, it probably cost me heaven knows how much. My son could do it, but he doesn't have a tattoo gun. I don't know. Yeah. Chakate has got several different sigils. She's got, um, of course, the, the two moon, you know, the half moons on the full moon that everybody knows of with the tridents in the middle going down through there is the one I was going to get. Yeah. There's stools, there are even Ouija board playing cards, pillows like yeah, I know they're they're everywhere. <coughs> this one that I was gonna get was really, really pretty, man. I I just couldn't afford it. And it looked like it would be a really heavy board. I mean, it looked like it was made out of oak. And um, it was it was pretty thick. It was probably a good two, two and a half inches thick. I was talking about making pendulum boards out of Ouija boards here. How are they different? I mean, I thought it was the same board. Just one you used the cursor and the other you used your pendulum and it went wherever. Now, I do know, I know there's a pendulum board, yeah, that just has yes or no on it. It doesn't have, you know, all the, uh, the alphabet. My God, y'all, I've been on here over three hours. Can you believe it? No big deal to me. But. 
But yeah, I mean, I should have been doing this kind of stuff, you know, since we've been all in this quarantine and stuff. It's not like I don't have anything to do. I sit around bored. I got candles I can make. And... Now, see, I wouldn't have any idea how to do that, Shelly. I wonder how you could send me pictures of stuff like that. I guess I could just type it in on Amazon, like type in which is room Ouija boards or room Ouija boards. Just see what they look like. Yeah, now I know the witch's alphabet. I didn't know that's what runes had on them. I guess it depends on which runes you get, huh? Because I know some of them have Celtic symbols on them. Oh, you mean put the witch's alphabet on the Ouija board. Ooh, that, that's a cool idea. Wow, that is a cool idea. Or is that what you meant? If that's not what you meant, then I just thought of it. It's either way, it's a neat idea. Both. Yeah. Huh. See, I'm not a rune person. Somebody on here told me they were going to make me a set of runes and send them to me. Speaking of, was that you? No, I don't think that was you. No, that was Lady Blonde Wolf. Wasn't it Lady Blonde Wolf? No, she's going to send me acorns. Shit. See, y'all, I can't remember nothing. Somebody was going to make me some runes and... Well, I know that, Shelly. <laughs> but just here, not too long ago, somebody on here was telling me that they make rooms and they were going to send me a set. I don't know. And there's not very many people that actually get on here and talk to me anymore because I'm usually on so late. But I, 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 it may, it might have been Lady Blind Wolf. I don't know. Yeah, Shelly, I need to uh, I need to send you a candle or something. Make you a special type of candle. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But you'll have to email me your um, your address. Oh, you know what? I may still have it. Oh, I can't look right now. Because He's in there asleep, and I, my address book is in my nightstand. Me too, Shelly. Me too, sweetheart. You've been with me since I started this channel. Crap. Okay, now I got to go let my big cat in. He's scratching on the door. Be right back. I swear I'll let him in and out so much. I Completely, sometimes I forget him, especially when I'm busy to get busy doing something else. <coughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> 
I'll type in my email address and send me your address. That way you don't put it on here in case I don't have it in my book already. I can't see me not saving your address off the package when you sent that blanket. But just in case I don't have it, then I'll have it for sure. And I can, I can get you a candle or two mailed out. I'll, that'll give me something to do tonight overnight too after I do my spell or my ritual. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can, um, well, don't put your phone number on here either. Either way, you, you can, uh, yeah, send me your phone number. Uh, however you want to do it. And then I'll text you. And Lady Blind Wolf, if you want to do that, you can do that too, sweetheart. We're not leaving you out. It's just Shelly and I talk a lot. And since y'all are the only two left, I, I, I meant to do this where Carla got off because but she's on my Facebook. So I can get her anytime. But I think what I'm going to do is since you three were on here tonight, then I'm going to, um, I'll just send y'all all three a candle. As soon as I can. I mean, I have like no freaking money right now. It's so sad. I mean, I do what money I have coming in at the moment has got to go towards bills. And the first of the month is really bad for me. So I'll get them to you as soon as I can. Lady Blind Wolf, are you still on here? Do you like honeysuckle, Shelly? I'm not sure what kind I have already in there made. And I think I've only got four fragrances left. Let me see what I got in there. Okay, I've got watermelon, honeysuckle, amber romance, uh, vanilla, and one called uh, awake, which the awake kind of smells a little medicine-y. Um, it kind of smells like it may have um, some eucalyptus in it. So, but I'll, I'll make, uh, I'll make your, you know, I'll make these extra special. I'll have, uh, I'll put some herbs in them and yeah, I'll put some herbs in them and probably some glitter. I'll fancy them up for you. Yeah, hell yeah, you uh, get each other's phone number. We can text a lot. Or when we can. Cat uh, comes on here a lot too. Cat uh, Hudson Pillar. She, uh, 
she's at Renfest right now, though. I'm so jealous. I don't ever get to go anywhere. Three things I want to do in my life. One, I want to go to Greece, but I'm going to have to get over the fear of flying and falling into the ocean. <laughs> I don't think you can drive to Greece. And I want to go to Salem really badly. The problem with going to Salem, and I've, I've looked, I've researched it. Um, the problem with going there unless you know somebody anywhere around that area that you can stay with, it's pretty damn expensive there because it's pretty much a tourist attraction and they make the money. I believe you me. So I don't know. You think since it'd be right here in the United States, you get there a lot easier when you can. It's just where are you going to stay? Oh, it was you about the rooms, Lady Blind Wolf? I thought so. That's okay. That's okay. I, I wasn't saying anything about it because I was just trying to tell Shelly um, that somebody had said that they were going to make me some and send me some because she was talking about rooms. Oh. How'd you do that? How'd you do that, Shelly? <laughs> Add to contacts. Okay. Okay. Awesome. How did you get my number? <laughs> it's crazy neighbors. I couldn't leave the house by myself. Yeah, that I was really worried about you, Lady Blind Wolf, when you was telling me all that was going on. I'm glad they, you know, that's pretty much been remedied. Because I was worried about you. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I was just, uh, I was just telling Shelly that I, because she was talking about rooms. So I thought. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm glad that's remedied now. I didn't do an entire whole spell for you um, when it came to that. I knew you were working on it. Um, I just kind of sent up, out a little prayer for you. We still have Schmeagle. Make basement show him. Yeah, well. Oh, that's horrible. Shelly. Yeah, Shelly, we are. But there nobody's seeing what we're topping. This is just on my phone. But the last time I went to the Dollar Tree, they didn't have any. Oh, okay. 
I think it would be neat to have a set, um, especially, you know, a set that somebody made for me and make it even more special. And I would cherish them. But rooms just aren't something that I go by, you know. I don't. So, I mean, cat, I uh, mean, cat. Now, cat's on my brain. But me and Shelly were talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dang, Shelly. So, how am I supposed to get all my witches together and go to Salem if everybody's all over that damn place? Maybe I'll just move to Canada. Healthcare is free there, right? <laughs> Marry me one of them there Canadian Mounties. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. Y'all wouldn't have me any other way. That's some funny shit. Damn, so are you telling me it's going to cost me an arm and a leg to mail you this dang candle? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My kid would have to draw the stage for that. Yeah, that's fine. That would that'd make it even neater, you know, have a little a child's touch to it. I will forget your kids are grown, so. It doesn't matter when anything anybody sends me comes to my house. It's cleansed and blessed and all that, so. Not that I distrust everybody, but y'all know as well as I know, being witches, that, you know, cut that... That stuff touches a lot of hands in the mail, so. 13 stakes with witches range. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, that'll be neat. It'll be neat to have some. Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get interested in them and, and, Learn, uh, learn them. Well, damn, Shelly, even if I wanted to come see you, that means I'd have to get a passport, right? See? <laughs> I'll ask them. Do y'all let witches in Canada? I'm so crazy. I know I am. <laughs> Damn it. I can drive there, though, huh? It'd take me forever, but I could drive there nonetheless. I've always wanted to ride a train, too. A passenger train. Do you like it there? Is it really cold all the time? Like everybody says. Or like all the pictures I see and movies I watch. Where have you were you born and raised there? I mean, have you lived there your whole life? Yep, so don't do it. Don't do what?
Yeah, let's try to lay them all. The exchange is crazy. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't go now by no means. What do you mean the exchange is crazy? Even if just coming to visit? Are you talking about getting my passport? Man, I had already had my, was filling out my passport, you know, to go to, to Greece. And um, I didn't realize how much shit was on there. I ask you all these damn questions. It's a good thing my, my long-term memory is still here. <laughs> Roman Biscotti is from Canada, and she has a channel. But she's a medium, not a witch. Um, I've heard that name. I've heard that name before. Um, or maybe she came across my YouTube or something. She does all kinds of readings. Oh, okay. Maybe that's how I know her name. I don't know. But I, I, I remember hearing that name. Yeah. That sucks though, Shelly. I mean, it would be so nice. I would just wish that I could get a bunch of us all together and just freaking hang out, you know. Spend about a week together. Do nothing but spells and cackling and drinking if we want to. Drawing down the moon. So what do you mean by exchange? See, I've never been out of the country. I don't know this stuff. What What is exchange? You talking about money exchange? Uh, Oh, you're only 20 minutes from Detroit. How the hell is that? Have you always lived in Canada? I don't know. Every time I say, think of Canada, Canada now, I think of that series I watched, The Handmaid's Tale. Money exchange. Yeah. Yeah. How are you only 20 minutes from Michigan, though? You mean that's where the border to Canada is? Knows her. She has been on his channel. Oh, well, that's probably where I've heard it from then, Lady Blindwell. That's how I know that name. Zoom. Yeah. She, she may have been on there talking that time that I was on there with them all. I know there was like five of us. 
maybe even six. I think there was just five. I don't remember now. Shelly. So do you have a passport, Shelly? Okay, so here's the deal, Missy. This is what's going to go down. Because <laughs> the priestess says, I will meet you in Salem. You can get to Salem from Canada. Will that work? <laughs> like you're a crazy woman. Yeah. So have you always lived there? Shut this damn drawer. You live in Windsor? Well, damn. Yeah, and you don't have to cross no oceans or nothing for that, huh? You just go through a, a, a border crossing thing, huh? Yeah, every time I think about Canada, I think of The Handmaid's Tale. Did y'all watch that? It, uh, I was waiting on the other seasons to come out. And then it went off the, the channel that I was watching, which pissed me off. So I never did get to see the end of it. Wow. That's cool. Well, I'm sure they have healthcare workers over there too. I don't know. I don't know if they'd let me switch my license to Canada or not. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm already moved to Canada. Can't travel because of travel restrictions. Yeah, I know. That sucks. Yeah, I think that's what's really depressing a lot of people, you know. Nobody can do anything, you know. Of course, think how they were, you know, hundreds of years ago. They really never got to go anywhere. I mean, they didn't have vehicles. If they went anywhere, they had to go in horse and buggy, and that took for friggin' ever. So they didn't go very far. And can you imagine boat travel back then? Whew, it would have been bad.
Well, guys, I guess we better get off here. It's after midnight. It's 1230. Damn. Guess I better get in there and start doing my stuff before I run out of energy and get too sleepy. I'm already getting sleepy. Which is odd because usually I'm a night owl, so I'm wide awake at night. What are you doing, pretty girl? What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to get off here. Go get my stuff done and go to bed. Borders are closed. Yeah, I figured they would be. It's a shame. Hopefully all this crap is over and done with by next summer, you know, people can get back out and go do things again. It's on Hulu. Hulu, that's, yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. I don't know what Susan you didn't watch. The last one I watched, her husband and uh, children and that one girl that she helped save that she took there and was going to go with her and instead just put her in the truck and then she walked back to take care of unfinished business, whatever she's doing. And then it ended. Oh, that's the last one I remember anyway. No, I do remember the next one where her husband, when that girl got there, um, she met that woman's husband and she was telling him that she was okay and what all she was doing over there. And her husband had made arrangements to get back over there and free her. Was talking to the embassy there in Canada or whatever. Oh, you read the book, huh? Yeah, me too, Shelly. That's what I was just saying. It's so good talking to y'all. I really don't ever want to get off here, but I guess all good things must come to an end. I'll uh, I'll try to come back on here tomorrow night. I, I, I used to try to do one every night on something, but I'm running out of ideas. So anyway, I love y'all, and thank you so much for coming on here and, and talking to me. Blessed be.